你这个要在生产前两天停肝素，然后四十八小时之后一定要生产哦，所以可能剖腹产的可能性会比较大哦。肝素要先停掉。先停两天，你不能超过三天，超过三天肝素就没有作用嘛。嗯。啊，但是你两天之内，它要备血浆、血小板。嗯。万一如果说血崩的时候要，要要打。呃，不可以剖腹，可以啊，剖你一定要剖腹的啊。然后他说，就是快日子快要近的时候再来，我们再来讨论的。然后体外他应该要剖腹啊，因为你停肝素之后两天就要生了嘛，所以如果两天生不出来，就是要剖腹，因为要要在那个肝素保保护期四十八小时之内生产嘛，这是他的论文啊。男的，女的？男的。好，要是女的，下次再说喽。你还要陪他在这里哦。我可能要开单，他要给你。我觉得你在公司的样子。不、哦、好、哦，下次你有车祸的时候，不是找我，要去找，要去找产房。喂，我的衣服。Now what I'm going to do, you can see that I've pinched the skin here. Now I'm just going, I'm going to put it in quickly because it goes in very easily and it doesn't hurt when it goes in. There we are, now it's in. Now I'm going to just gently squeeze down till the end.
there. And if you're doing this every day like I have been, then it's good to kind of go systematically and you do like left, right, left, right, depending on the day of the week. So just pick your spot and then remember where that spot is. Next thing that you're going to do is get out your actual injection. And this is what it looks like. It's got a little lid on it for safety. And you probably can't see this, but the needle has an angle to it at the tip. So you want the angle to be like facing up. And a nurse told me that that should help just as far as being less, um, you know, a little bit less painful, also less potential for bruising. So you just pinch an inch is what they say. And then you can put it in as slowly or as quickly as you need to. Honestly, the first time I was the most nervous, but after that, it was not a big deal. Now, the thing about this is that anoxaparin or Lovenox, it can kind of sting. So if you just do it slowly and push it with your fingers slowly, then you'll find that it actually doesn't sting as much. Um, and then sometimes I find that it'll, it'll sting like maybe for five minutes after giving myself the injection and sometimes it won't. So I think it just kind of depends. And every now and then it's kind of a little bit painful going in. Make sure to manually tighten the connection from the tubing set onto the bag. This almost always comes loose from the manufacturer. If you fail to tighten this, IVIG may leak through when transferring or pulling the IVIG into the bag. Make sure to open the vent on the tubing And when spiking the IVIG bottle, use a twisting motion. This will prevent the rubber stopper from dislodging. Allow for all of the reconstituted medication to transfer from the bottles into the pooling bag.